Good morning, Saturday, February 15, 2020. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, who bore a creator of all things. You became the mother of your maker and you remain forever virgin. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Jeroboam thought to himself, the kingdom will return to David's house. If now these people go up to offer sacrifices in the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem, the heart of these people will return to their matter master Rehoboam king of Judah and they will kill me after taking counsel the king made two calls of gold and said to the people you have been going up to Jerusalem long enough here is your God O Israel who brought you up from the land of Egypt and he put in the Bethel and the other in them. This led to sin because the people frequent those calves in Bethel and in Dan. He also built temples on the high places and made priests from among the people who were not Levites. Jeroboam established the, fe the feast in the eighth month on the fifteenth day of the month to duplicate in Bethel the pilgrim feast of Judah with sacrifices to the calves he had made and stationed in Bethel priests of the high places he had built. Jeroboam did not give up his evil ways after this but again made priests for his high places from among the common people whoever decided it was consecrated and became a priest of the high places. This was a sin on the part of the house of Jeroboam, for which it was to be cut off and destroyed from the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm 106. Remember us, O Lord, as your favor your people. Together, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We had sinned, we and our fathers. We had committed crimes. We had done wrong. Our fathers, in, our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They made a calf in Herob and adored a molten image. They in chanted their glory for their image of grass eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them and had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from forth from the mouth of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 8, verse 1 to 10. In those days, when there were again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way and some of them will have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, 
where can we anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this desert place? Still he asked them, how many love do you have? They replied, seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven love, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessings over them and ordered them to distribute also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up a fragment of the leftovers, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowds and go into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Adamanuta, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, Saturday of our mother, Mary, uh, before we start the reflection, we are going to do the prayer of collect. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who kept the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may with the help of her intersection rise up from our iniquities through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lived and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Brothers, today, oh, wow, what a beautiful day. Ah, before anything happens, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. Give us a like and share this reflection with the whole world. Today, I will take some time to say happy birthday to my son David. He reached 14 years old. I can leave him in the house by himself now. Woo! He's legal. <laughs> so, uh, happy birthday to you, David. Hopefully, you are listening to this in a few moments after I upload it and give us a like. So today, we on the reading see how we can get ourselves wrapped up into the bad teachings. Solomon did something completely, completely out of what he was supposed to be doing. A person that has everything, everything, everything. And he just turned his life and he just ruined himself and his generation. Except they kept only one. Uh, the tribe of Judah and uh, today we see how Jeroboam inside of himself is like oh man these people are just fleeing over there to do the sacrifice but they live here but they're going over there and this and you know all this you know the evil thinking in their heads and people since the beginning is something that is like boom 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 and and, and, in, and in this case it wins again it wins the heart of Jeroboam and he does what he was not supposed to be doing. And he goes again and do, you know, his teacher, you know, Solomon did the bad thing. You know, we saw what happened to him. He at least would have thought that this can happen to me also. And they don't listen by, by the other people's uh, examples. That is so whole, so so bad because it's like a a guy come from jail come out here talk to these kids and tell them what not to do because you're gonna end up going to jail and spend 15 20 years locked up and that is like <laughs> horrible and they come up here talk to the kids and guess what the kid did <laughs> the same thing and were locked up for 15 or 20 years it happens it happens we don't learn from other people and from this uh, we we ourselves this is history imagine for us it's like huh did that really happen and then we start doubting things it did happen and it happened in that way when people start turning on their back uh, from our creator and start going, you know, to this other things. He did it because he just wanted to keep the power. 
you know, these days we see how many things are going on on TV with people trying to keep power, the power, what the power can do, you know, check and balance. <laughs> you, you watch TV and then you go to Channel 23, CNN, CNNBC and Fox and you're like, I want to be informed, but this, this is like, it's crazy, crazy. So at the end of the day, we gotta see what what they go for. You know, they go for abortion, just mark that one, no. You know, they go for euthanasia, no. And then you, we gotta see that part, you know? And we gotta pray for our our people that run for office, that they, they, they bring to the office the good heart. You know, and we see all the story how the people end up. Imagine the people they go up there and they have no, no, no God in their heart. <laughs> Even worse. But we still gotta pray for, for those um, brave men and women that come up from nowhere and run for office and they have a platform that Christ is the center. If you run, Christ is the center. Believe me. You'll win. You'll have a lot of enemies. <laughs> it's gonna happen. But you have Christ in the center. So in today's uh, gospel, we hear today how the Lord wants to fed us and keep us satisfied. Woo! But remember, not only of bread alone, we can survive. Uh, I don't have them here, but uh, you know, guys, you follow, you've seen Charbel here. And he was only with the Eucharist and the blood of Christ living for years, 14 years. It's so beautiful how these things happen when the man of God believe that with the word, he can survive. And then with the Eucharist, he he was satisfied. And that's what happened these days. There is a, a, a situation going for in Ponce, Puerto Rico, and I did a video. I know I should have done that part in English as well. But I was sending the message that even that whoever is in charge try to do whatever they think they want to do we got to follow the lord we got to follow the christ you know remember out of this 12 here there was one that it, he sold him <laughs> so we always going to have a judas in between us just just make sure you're not that judas because the, the going to the place that that place is, is not it's not it's not funny and i was listening to this uh lifetime st story i think it was no actually tecton it's another channel that i follow and it was talking about this pro this this priest that was riding his motorcycle and 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 a drunk person came and just head on and he just uh, uh, killed him and then and his way up to to heaven, he saw his uh, guardian angel. You know, we do have a guardian angel. I know mom is here. So I don't see it, but I don't have to see it. I believe it, he is with me. So when he was going up and, you know, God wants him to see these places of, you know, the hell and purgatory. And when, when God sent him back, you know, he was ready to go to the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> he was pronounced dead already. And when he sent them back, um, the mission was to to tell people about these places, you know. And and, and, it, and it's still people don't believe that thing. Even from the person that it came back from, from the death. And people just like, dismiss that. That would be a news for, 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 for all the cable news channels and something to be boom 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 like a bass in your head all the time 
for us to turn ourselves back to, to the Christ, to, to our salvation. And, and it's so hard. I just found out about it the other day, and this happened years ago. I'm, I'm glad that I, I found out about it because now I, I can talk about it. And and today we see we see that we see that and 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 people just listen to to people that they they have inclinations to do evil things and instead of doing what is right it they just just do what they think is right for the moment and believe me if we follow the Christ if we follow the Lord and he's the most powerful he is God just put it that way and we're gonna put other things before him it's like what what we hear today on the first reading and we cannot do that we cannot let people do that in our hearts because and then if it goes to our hearts and then we say hey you, listen you're going to a place but you, you're doing because it's, it's the custom to do it. If your family, your grandma, your grandfather, no, we are going to church because Jesus is there. We are going there because we want to get satisfied. We receive the body of Christ and the spiritual that will change in your life that you're gonna be like, what? I don't recognize that guy. I don't, I don't. And that's what the Lord do to all of those. They go and take the body and just realize that he is now. That the carriage, that the, 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 the temple that the God is in him. So if you see some bishop and some priest doing some changes in the church, that you know that it goes against the values, the the the, the sacred part of, of, of Jesus. Don't worry. You know, they're in charge. They're in charge. Remember, Jesus gave the bread to who? To everybody? No. To the apostles. And the apostles give the bread to everybody. So Jesus had people in charge. And they give to everybody else. So now, if we see that going on in our church, you know, and they say that uh, we are we are the one receiving the bread. So just take the bread. You know, in some cases, you know, I know a lot of people don't want to take the bread in the hands because they don't want to take the bread in the hands. What about a little miscalculated part, microscopic part? It stays there. And then you go like that in your jeans or your clothes and then it goes down on the floor and then we all stepping on Jesus flesh, you know? So a lot of people just take it and there's a patina and they take it to the mouth and that's it. But there are some changes <clears throat> against sometimes the most sacred thing. And believe me, if you follow you're the follower, you know, you do take the body of Christ in yourself, make sure nothing left over, you lick your hand to make sure that nothing is in there. Clean your hand before you go and receive it. And it, I'm not saying this to encourage people <coughs> to do it now this way. I'm saying this, if you are put up into that position, you know, just follow. They are the one that when they're in front of the Christ, got to respond for that. And that's why we got to pray for our priests because sometimes they want to do these modern things in our church. Why? Because they are moved like Jeroboam was moved today in inside of him to do something not to let people go away <laughs> and that is a thing like they're trying to do lately like the men is the center you know what on the church we was supposed to have christ in the center and now what they did with the christ they put it to the side oh no they do a little chapel no now we saw we see the priest in the center 
and and there's so many things that we've been swallowing every single day, year after year. All these changes. The church, it's only one. Why we have so many other called churches that follow Christ? Because they were not obedient. And they just do whatever they did. Believe me, even this guy from Venezuela, Hugo Chavez, there was the day that he got to go. And sometimes it happens to, to all these people inside our church. One day, the Lord will take them away. And we pray for that people or that person to realize that before his time is up. Every time I get up, I wake up, I say, thank Jesus, because you could have just took me away a long time ago. And then I would have been lost. But it was not that time. And he wanted me to stay longer. And here I am. And here we are. So, brother, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And give us a like and share this reflections with the whole world. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen.